Susanna Troy. I'm standing in front of the 90 precinct. I've already done part one and part two interviews with Joe Sanchez. He's a hero NYPD officer uh, that worked at the 90 precinct series on hero NYPD Joe Sanchez. He is the Hispanic Serpico. But none of you know that. Isn't that interesting? We're going to have a year-long YouTube documentary in which I will ask him his insights into the Adrian Schoolcraft trial as it unfolds. You're going to learn why you don't know about this hero, a decorated Vietnam vet with a purple heart. He has 30 merit NYPD awards. You can see some of them on his chest above his badge. And this officer was framed. Why? Because he spoke up and blew the whistle on his corrupt lieutenant and captain. And internal affairs was... And he was framed by internal affairs, and Commissioner Ben Ward could have gotten him uh, his job back, as Charles Hines, then a special prosecutor, asked. And many people from documentation. Uh, I have letters from U.S. Senators and uh, New York State Assembly and Charles Hines, special prosecutor at the time, writing back to a, a juror who I'm interviewing right now. I'm heading over to her home. Um, so the goal is to get reform in the police department. How can we have NYPD reform when the good cops are being punished, when the whistleblowers are being retaliated? The Serpico got a, a bullet, what, to his face? He got shot, set up? Well, this guy got a bullet to his career. It hurt him, his family, his wife, four children, his parents. I want an apology from the city of New York. I want his job, re job back reinstated so he can say that he's a retired NYPD officer and not a former NYPD officer. I am working to, it's going to be a year-long documentary. I'm going to be asking him about his thoughts on the Adrian Schoolcraft trial. And I want to make reform, so the true reform for the NYPD, so the NYPD stops the retaliation against the good cops and starts punishing the bad cops instead of covering up for them. On top of which, Charles Hines, you're watching this and your staff is watching this. I'm waiting to hear, are you going to give me the time of day, the five minutes, only five minutes, your beautiful letter of 30 years ago. What, where do you stand on it now? Are you going to help me to get this guy an apology? He is the NYPD Hispanic Serpico. He's a true hero, as you yourself admit in your beautiful letter. Are you going to help me? Are you going to give me the interview? I'm going to meet Annabelle Washburn right now, a hero. 85 years old. A stroke, a stroke, that wrote him a letter how long ago, and now here I am meeting her 30 odd years later, and she's still advocating for Joe, and I'm asking Charles Hines, will you join her and me and this YouTube documentary, which will be historical, will be used by people, NYPD historians, anybody who wants to learn about the history of the New York Police Department, this officer, a hero, NYPD, Joe Sanchez, you need to learn his history if you want to learn about the police department and if you want reform. Thank you. Betrayal at Ground Zero, my letter on behalf of the NYPD, FDNY, PAPD, EMS in the Wall Street Journal and in the New York Times, I had a letter asking for a raise for the NYPD and FDNY after 9-11. October 1st, 2012, I was violently assaulted by Delida Hooks, Dr. Fagelman's receptionist and office manager, and without surgery, I would have lost vision. Detective John Vergona coerced me, coerced me into dropping charges using a false cross complaint. He radically changed my understanding of the NYPD in the worst way. Internal Affairs has been sitting on my case for five months, no arrest yet. CCRB gave my complaints to Internal Affairs 2013. IA gives me the Sanchez treatment. I'm just wondering, you can see in part my motivation to tell Joe's story. That is when I began to research Adrian Schoolcraft and wrote a post, Adrian meet Joe Sanchez and Joe found me.